your voice, which you can't hear because uh, we haven't really started recording yet. Isn't that special? Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was me doing a funny voice that you probably didn't hear because the pre-stream chatter occurs, as the name implies, before the stream begins. Okay, so yesterday we had some trouble with the uh, with the COVID data because I was trying to be too smart. I'm going to be doing that again. Uh, I'm going to try to be smart, too smart again, but this time I'm going to be too smart in and copy something I did before that was too smart which may work better and it may not work at all. We, we don't really know. Um, as an interesting thought, um, COVID-19 could actually be its own vaccine. Uh, a vaccine, of course, uh, takes a milder dose of some, uh, some disease, injects uh, you or children or babies with it, and lets the immune system cope with that so that they can form antibodies when the uh, same disease comes back stronger. Of course, with COVID-19, um, most people are experiencing very few symptoms, if any at all. Many people are infected and didn't even feel sick because the virus, for most people, uh, is very mild. So it actually one way to get over COVID-19, if you're fairly healthy, of course, not, not in the high risk category, uh, is to simply get COVID-19, get over it. You got the antibodies. Uh, so that might actually be the correct way of doing things. Okay. So now we're going to go back and try to figure out um, what I did wrong in life. No, what I did wrong in trying to parse the COVID data, uh, which is basically a series of comma separated values um, with a header file. So I was trying to use my very cool function array with headers to hash list, uh, but I was maybe being too clever and I forgot the, the goal, which is of course to waste time until I die. But the other goal of also getting this data so we can do something with it. Um, it is Pomodoro time, but of course we skip the first one, as always. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at some other stuff I've done here. Um, I, let's see, I don't remember where it was, though, of course, which is, which is always a good thing. You, you never really want to know where anything you've done is. But this function I know I don't use that often, so I should be able to grep for it and find out where I used it. I think it was an aster that I used it, and I'm wrong. So let's do it over here at the top level. I, I could use a find here. Uh, okay, that's the definition. But I'm pretty sure I used it fairly recently. Um, by which I mean I did not use it fairly recently. Maps, waypoints, okay, that's not recent. Ah, fudge me. Um, and it's theoretically possible I did this in the Yamak uh, Git, but I don't really remember doing that either. Oh shit, no, I meant to do this first. Okay, so very clearly I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, again. Um, we don't have to use this function, obviously. And if we are going to use it, we probably do not need to be... Um, this insanely um, this insanely tight about trying to do it. We can do it in a, in a much better way. So we'll say my um, rec list for rec record record list. So we already have conf is a, a list. Um, actually, let's not do that. So um, okay. Um, so rec list is where we're going to store the individual rows of rows. So for dollar sign i in conf, um, we're going to say, okay, now this is where I get gets really kind of ugly. My calls equals split, well, we'll just say CSV of dollar sign i. And then we will push onto rec list uh, a reference to calls. And this should do what I've been trying to do for the last uh, last day or so. Um, and let's just make sure it does. And th now we should be able to feed this sucker to array he with headers to hash list. Uh, or not. I don't really know. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay. Array, array, array. So that should be an array of arrays, but let's make sure. Rec list 0, 4 should be the fourth header row, because 0 is the header row. Yay. And this should be like uh, uh, one of the rows inside of it. So the FIPS code of something. 
60. Okay, I'm not sure what the hell that means, but I don't care because I'm pretty sure this is working now. Um, so now what we want is my hash list equals array to this of rec list. And again, um, honestly, this is probably more pain than just doing it myself, than just doing the whole thing myself. Uh, that did not do what I wanted. Array with headers to hash list. Let's take a look at the function signature real quick. I think maybe this is one of the uh, older, no it is, okay it is, so it is, um, it is one of these. And let's see what the hell it returns. Maybe that's maybe that's where I need to be a little bit more clever. Oh, well, so that's that's what I'm doing wrong. It returns two things. Um, return a list. Wow. So actually, I don't even have this documented here. What am I returning here? Um, Okay, so the first thing I'm returning is actually what I want, uh, and it is a, it is a uh, reference to a uh, to a hash list. Um, so this should be that. Okay, that's good. Now that I figured out how what I'm actually doing, can I can I f this up again? Um, because I'm now sort of, uh, you know what, I don't really need to do that, do I? Um, um, and I think I figured out this did not work. Hello, Milkister Moo. How are you, sir? Welcome to my stream. Um, yeah, and once again, I think I may be getting overly focused on being cool in Perl instead of actually getting the data I want. You are quite welcome. You are quite welcome. Okay. So... Man... I'm just going to be stuck on this one. Well, let me, let me see if I can do this real quick. Okay. Okay, so that is not working. Conf for. So the elements of conf for rows, I try to convert them all into uh, lists. But I get the feeling I'm not doing this right. This should be like something like this. Let's see what that does. It's still not good. Um, so what is conf for after I've done this magic? It used to be, it used to be a row of thingies. So now it's a scalar, which is not correct. Well, actually it might be. What is the list that is conf for? Because yeah, I think it's a list ref. Nope, not an array ref. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to do what I want. Yeah, now we get the mysterious 88, unless 88 is actually a value somewhere. Let's, maybe, maybe yeah, that's where I messed up. No. 88 is something just weird. Um, so why don't we do a before and after here? So before it should be a, like a regular row, and there it is. And then after it just becomes 88, which is not right. So let's see. Um... Pretty sure CSV returns a list. Can I reference it like this? That might not be correct. Ooh. That looks interesting. So uh, maybe I was referencing incorrectly. Nice. So that did work. Okay. So this converts conf into an array of arrays. And then... Uh, let's see, conf into an array of arrays, and then we can do this, and say, we can do this first, see what happens, should be an array, it is, 
And now we can look at the list. It should be a bunch of hash refs. Yay. Okay, so this is what I was trying to achieve yesterday. Um, and let's see. In, now, could I... What does map actually return? Does map return the new list? I don't think it does, actually. I think it returns a status value. But if map returns the list, then we could go even further with that. Oh, it does. Very nice. Um... Okay, so we could... This is just hideous programming. I don't even know why I'm doing it this way. Um, okay, let's see if that works. Okay, it does. And so then... Okay. There's, there it is, the worst, the worst coding you will ever see, uh, probably. But unless you hang around here, then you'll see worse. Oops, not an array ref. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I think we can just do this. New. Oh, because array with headers actually returns two things. And one of them is the reference to the hash list, so it doesn't quite work. Um, but this should work. And each of these should be a little hash now. Okay. Um, Okay, so there's each hash, and now for each... Now, what the hell am I doing with these hashes? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, so this is the hash. Let's see what's in it. This should be the list of pairs and values. Um, let me go ahead and push this the way it is, and then I'll clean it up a little bit. Okay. Push, push, push. Away it goes. Let's see if this still works. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for here. That's the ticket. Okay. Wow, I spent a lot of time... Wow, I spent a lot of crap trying to get to where we are right now. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Um... Okay, so this is I, J, and of course what we really want is hash list I. I think this is what we really want. And this should give us, this should give us information about our hash. Uh, no. Okay, so wait. So J is sort keys. I get the feeling this might be this. Which if it is, I've kind of done the wrong thing. Nope. Um. Oh, actually, hang on. Because of the way this is, some of the... There we go. Oh, wait. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my bad. My bad. Because dollar sign $i is our hash, so this would just be dollar sign $i, dollar sign $j. I'm pretty sure this is what I want to do, unless I'm off by one level of dereferencing. Uh, okay, no. Dollar sign, sort key. Okay, okay, that's good. And then is this this? There we go. Um, so this is most of this is just date data. Um, and so now we can actually start to do something with this. Um, oh yeah, because dollar sign i is my reference to my hash, so percent dollar sign i is my hash, so dollar sign i arrow dollar sign j is my, I think I can get away with doing this. No, 
I cannot. You, we really do need to put it in little braces. Okay. So now I've pretty much forgotten what the hell I'm trying to do in the first place. Um, and I guess one thing that's going to bug me is... Well, for one thing, I do need to update this data. Uh, because it's another day has passed. Okay. And I guess the other thing I want to do is... Um, we're really just trying to get numbers out of the stamp thing, and it's just amazingly difficult. Uh, at least it seems like it is for me incredibly difficult. And I might just be missing something. Um, uh, if there's, there doesn't seem to be a total count, I mean, obviously you can add them together to get a total count. That's not the, that's not the issue. Um, so this is confirmed US cases. Um, let's see if the numbers add up to roughly what is the known, correct known value. Um, so let's see. So let's, let's take a quick look here. I think we were getting close to this being not totally. Okay, so shoot. Um, Combined key. Okay. So this is really ugly. Because most of the freaking columns are dates. Um, okay, so how are we going to set this up? I don't think I care about raw array. What I do care about because I think the combined key is what we're looking for. Well, let's just actually go ahead and... Um oh, wow. So one of the problems of doing it this way is I can't even... Um okay. Let's see what that does. This should get rid of all the new lines in there, but... All right, so now I've become so clever that it's not even useful to me anymore. Uh, that's not good. So what am I trying to do here? Is remove all the these. Um, remove all the new lines. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and push this and then rewrite it because it sucks. So now I've gotten to the point where I can't even debug anymore because I've gotten so clever. And so, as I said before, this was a mistake. Okay. So why don't we just do this? Okay. Okay, we're going to go one step further. We're going to split it into new lines. But I don't think... I guess we have to do it like this, because there, there is a... There's two new lines here. Um, okay, good deal. And the first line, I guess, is going to be the header line. Um, so now I'm basically redoing the uh, array with headers to hash list, but th I'm okay with that. Um, so if we shift data, we should get the very first element, which means that we go through the rest of the data. Um, so let's see what this does. Yeah, good deal. So we got rid of the first. So now we can say, um, okay. Uh, oh, we need a thing here, dollar sign J. So this is going to map the headers to the values. Headers of J. 
um, the calls of Jay. And now, this should freaking do what I want it to do. Finally. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. So I think the combined key is what we really need here. Let's make sure, though. Yep, combined key, not combined cat. Uh, Puerto Rico, blah, blah, blah. So these are all the counties and stuff. Okay. So I think we've, we've got this now. Um... Now we're going to create a hash called data, and the idea here is going to be data of name date equal number of incidents on that day in that, well, let's call it place now, in that place, in place. So now... I still get the feeling I'm doing this not perfectly right, but I'd much rather just pour on here. Uh, okay. 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 Um, so if, so now we need to see if it's a date. If calls of, of J equal tilde Okay. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we're almost back. And we're back. Okay. Um, so we're looking for basically a bunch of dates. Oops, sorry. Slash a bunch of numbers, slash a bunch of numbers. And if that happens, we want to say data of... Okay, of name, which we will assume will exist, we will make sure that it does exist, of J, um, nope, calls J, and that we're going to set equal to the actual value here, um, uh, which will be, okay, that's a good question. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is going to be headers J equals calls J. Okay. Um, and then we might as well do a next here because we don't need to do anything else with that. Okay. So now the only other question is if we have, if calls of J equals combined key, that's the only other thing we came, care about. Um... Then we're going to set name equal to um, 
And I guess to be precise, we should put a name, we should just defi declare a name here. And then we'll set the name equal to uh, calls of J. So that'll be the, and then next, because we don't need to do anything with that. Okay. So I think if this works, I'll be very surprised. Uh, but let's just see what it does. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, calls j equals name equal calls j. Otherwise, if calls j is equal to, let's see if I, I believe this one. Okay, percent d slash plus percent. That should be okay. Okay, well. Let's put that in there. Let's see if that ever happens. No. Okay. See if that ever happens. No. Okay, something's wrong then. All right, so my calls are equal to CSV for J is equal to zero to headers. Um, well, let's see what calls, j well, let's just say what J is, what header is. I think I know what's wrong, but let's give it a sec. Um, and so let's just see what we're looking at here when we go through all these one at a time. Uh, header UID, okay, that looks good, that looks good. Combined key. That looks fine. So, oops, I meant to say if headers J. Is a, is a, if the header is that, and if here if headers J is a date, then this should be true. So, There we go. Header whose key is the, the name. And whose value is going to be um, a list of dates. And the list of dates will tell us the number of, in this case, confirmed cases uh, per, per day. I'm still not happy that this data is so convoluted um, so let me see if the time series data is, okay, cases, or is that what, that's what I'm using now, I think. Okay. Um, so what are the daily reports? Are they easier to deal with? Oh yeah, I think I decided the daily report sucked because they have different headers for each day. And also I don't think they are any better in terms of, uh, they break it down by co county or whatever. Okay, so. So now we can, now we actually have the data in a format that we might be able to use. And this should be an alphabetical list of the place names. Okay, here we go. All righty. So these are counties in the United States. Okay, so one bad thing we didn't do here is we use the combined name, but we probably should have been using uh, like country, state. Um, yeah, we should probably should have been using more keys because uh, this data, I mean, you could always separate out by commas, but, um, that's a little bit ugly. Well, that actually might work, though. But anyway, let me take a quick look at the actual, um, the actual, uh, what is it, time series data? Yeah, time series data. Uh, okay. 
So we have here is UID ISO ISO 2 FIPS admin to province, state, county, region. Okay, so this is ISO ISO 2 code 3 FIPS admin 2, which there isn't one of, well, which there is most of the time, province, state, country, or region. So we want to go probably country, region, province, state, admin 2. I think that I don't think the ISO I think the ISO codes will be redundant here. Um, and again, I, I get the very strong feeling that we are doing something something wrong. Or I guess the data is just in a very ugly format. Um, I guess one more time we're going to try to get the data from CDC. This time I'm going to go directly to their homepage, and then click directly on COVID, which is just everywhere. Um, look for data. Hmm. Not good. Data base, I guess. Um. Um, wow, just say data, maybe. Um, deaths. Um, all right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the World Health Organization instead. Um, wow. Countries, newsrooms about us. Um, show me some data, guys. This may be what we need. Oh, here we go. Data on the is currently available directly from these sources. Okay, it's not available there. Um Data extract. Okay. Now we're getting closer. Hmm. <laughs> the number of downloads also increased exponentially. Uh, COVID nineteen. Oh, here we go. So why the hell weren't we looking at this the day one? Um, just how me get data. Okay. Okay, this is not exactly what I wanted to do, but let's let's go here. Let's maybe they have it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Not what I wanted. Um, 
for the rest of the world. Okay, 5,000 downloads. Oh, here. No. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Makes much more sense. Download. Yay. Now, finally, do we have the data in a format that I want to use it? Okay, who COVID cases? Yeah, whatever. Uh, data report. This looks like one per country. And what are we looking at? Data report. Cumulative deaths. Okay, so it's cumulative. Um, cumulative confirmed, cumulative death. Center, okay, Admiral of his name, short name. Okay, and those are all just a bunch of names though. Okay, so this is cumulative confirmed as of yes, four oh eight. So this is this is yesterday's data. Unfortunately, I don't think this is daily data. This is uh, just total data. Um, cases aggregated by historical cases by country. Now we're getting somewhere. And let's take a look what that looks like. Uh, nope, I don't think that's what I want. Historical cases. Okay. Okay, and this looks like it's going to have object ID, who cares, date of entry, um, cumulative. Okay, so that's where we're looking. That's what we're looking for now. Uh, and then Afghanistan for the next day, so on and so forth. This is, I, why the hell didn't we know this before? So let's go ahead and put this up here in my, my README stream so I don't forget it. This is the... Uh, Apparently, the uh, the source that uh, is a lot better than the source I'm using, which is the sucky source. Um, aggregated, let's see, historical cases by point data. Let's go ahead and download it anyway, just because... Oh, more. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, just because we like downloading... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. And download this. No, something bad is happening. Uh, COVID China by admin, we don't care about that. Where is the data for the U.S. Uh, by... Hmm. <sighs> okay. Metadata, probably not too exciting. It's not. Alrighty. So now I think we have something here. So let's just do our favorite country in the world, which is anything but the USA, but whatever. The untied states. Those are the ones that are not tied together. Uh, okay. All right. So this is the United States of America, and I can, I'm pretty sure it's in order, actually. So what we're looking for here is cumulative number of cases. That's going to be that one. So Perl minus F comma. CNLE, print dollar sign F, um, zero, one, two, three. So this should give us okay, I guess some, something went wrong there. Hmm. Maybe we'd better print the date too. Uh, 121, 129, uh, for, oh, for some reason they're not quite in order, but that's probably okay. So according to this, we had 395,030 cases in the United States as of uh, the beginning of today, uh, which is actually last night because we're in the United States. So is that number consistent with what these guys are saying? Mm. This is not true, by the way. Um... Yeah, and that looks, because I mean, there's been more cases because they said so many new cases there are. So this does look like it is correct in terms of cumulative cases. Uh, we can sort these numbers uh, by, because we know that the number of uh, cases doesn't decrease, because once you're infected, you don't, you're not counted as uninfected uh, ever again. So, so we can just do this. 
and this this is our number of cases basically um, and so we we're not necessarily going to use this but uh, just uh, just for fun let's have the new plot um, okay so looking pretty scary there uh, I mean there's a little bit of a chip jab here but um, let's do it with points lines and here we can see ooh okay and now let's do a log plot see what that does okay so then let's not use GNU plot for this okay okay so now we have a list of uh, cases in the United States um, and I <laughs> alright hang on alright so now we could do this from here um, yeah let's see Uh, um, okay. So the what we're gonna do here is something kind of a little bit weird. Um, oh, let me save this to Git before I forget. And saved. Okay. And it is Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. So if we have a date, we're going to do this, but we're going to do something like this. But if we have something that's not a date, um, we're just going to record it into the call hash. So we'll say call hash headers of j uh, equals calls of j. Okay. So why are we doing this? Well, because uh, Uh, because we want to actually get the data all the way down to the, um, I guess for this we could actually use the world, couldn't we? We want to get the data all the way down from the, uh, you know, U.S., American Samoa, down to the, uh, well, let's just use an example. Um, the state, sorry, the country, that's our country, state and city level, and then we want to start aggregating. So that's, that's, we're going to do that in, in a real clever way here, just a sec. Um, and I guess my question is, if we do world, are we going to get, um, I don't think we're going to get, they're going to allow New Mexico, in, I don't think they're going to allow, yeah, they're not going to break it down for us. So if we do this for the world, 
Um, oh, they will go to province state. Uh, oh, so do they do this? Do they actually have New Mexico in here? Or NM? Okay, United Kingdom. Unless they're doing the United States totally separately and not even including it here. Oh, they're not. God damn it. Um. Okay, so they're doing U.S. and global separately. Brilliant. Um, yeah, this... I don't know why the hell they're doing this. Um, oh, God. Okay. So... Amazingly difficult to get time series data for the world. Mm. Let me see if I can just do it for straight from Google. COVID global deaths data. Aha. Okay. Well, that's the kind of. Th I want these numbers basically. Um, and I want them to show a point. Um, oh, there it is. Data. Well, that was easier than I thought. Okay. Oh. It's still not bad, although w since when is Asia a country? Apparently, it is now. Um... Okay. Well, maybe they have a place where they say, like, world or something. Yeah. There we go. Now, I don't know why they're saying there were no deaths in the world but before December, because there were. There were some deaths last year. Uh, okay, come on. Where are we? Um, and what I was going to try to show, and I, I've kind of given up on this now, what I was going to show is that if you looked at this data and you sort of um, you sort of went back and tried to make predictions from before we had today's data, your predictions would be too high. In other words, the data, it's not really increasing exponentially, even though for any given day you can make it look like it's increasing exponentially. Um, but clearly I spent way too much time effing this up. And the same is true about the United States also. World excluding China. Uh, how about the USA? There we are. Uh, and these are the number of deaths in the USA. And my point would be if, let's say, you started with the first death and you went 15 days, you know, you said, wow, 57 uh, time increase between in 14 days. That means by the uh, 30th, we'll have 2,500. Oh, God, God, is that true? We do, though. Yikes. And then by April 15th, or, you know, we'll have... Uh, 2,500 times 50, about 100 and some odd thousand, which we don't. I don't, I don't think we will either. So the point is this exponential curve is, is depending on the dates you take, uh, is, is slowing down. Um, and and so, so that was going to be my point. Um, but I think I'm absolutely sick to death of that now, so um, screw it. Uh, the other thing we needed to do, wanted to do rather, we did want to fix the, um, this is actually another interesting thing to look at. There is no solution to this f of f of x equals x squared plus 1. The question is, could we find functions that are approximately uh, equal to this function by doing some form of, of you know, linear optimization or nonlinear optimization? Uh, and the other one was going to answer this guy and say, here's how you can use the data that I created for you. Um, we're going to add to the API. And we're going to answer this guy's question. But we ran into a problem here that was, because Mars is an ellipsoid, 
uh, we computed its terminator slightly incorrectly, and and we could fix that. Um, we could fix that by uh, by using a better function. In fact, I think I mentioned what function uh, we should be using. We should be using um, uh, our, this this um, to plan a graphic coordinates instead of using the rec lat, which is uh, you know, using uh, spherical coordinates. Uh, because Mars is not a perfect sphere. And that would actually be a good thing to do in general. Um, and I think I got distracted from doing that because I the um, the uh, parameters for that include the flattening coefficient uh, and a reference uh, sphere. Uh, reference sphere radius or diameter, if I remember correctly. And, and that is... Um, Actually, that's an interesting question. That really shouldn't matter, though, because... Um, oh, it does, because you need to know how far above the altitude of the planet you are. Um, so let's... And then, of course, we want to say X-Planet doesn't work for whatever reason. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff we're doing. Um... So I'm trying to see if any of this is really interesting. Oh, hello, 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 thank you. Why don't you use more GUI? Surely it would make your job easier. Uh, give me an example of what you mean. Thank you for saying something. I was getting totally bored to death. Hopefully you're still here. I mean, I could have just missed you and you've wandered off. I wouldn't blame you. If I could wander off, I would wander off myself as well. Uh, Twitch was having problems earlier today with the several minute delay, but I think it got over that issue and is behaving better now. Um, so maybe I should explain my goal a little bit better because I get the feeling that maybe that's what I didn't do. Uh, with all this data for COVID, the idea is given any two days, um, you know, uh, after the virus started and before today, um, uh, for example, you keep typing the addresses of the locations you want to access. You mean in the browser bar? I mean, I do sort of bookmark stuff. Or do you mean that I look for them inside of the files? Okay. No, I mean, I, 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 I appreciate what you're saying. You're saying it looks sort of klutzy. It does look like I'm jumping around a lot. It doesn't seem like there's sort of a clean... Um, it does it does today, and actually I think every day it pretty looks like I'm sort of jumping around, and it's clumsy, and it's not very clean, it's not very smooth. Unfortunately, I don't really know how to fix that in a way that's useful to me. Um, and there might be one. I'm not saying there isn't one. There probably is one. Um, but I'm not, I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, and I do know what you're trying to say. I think, I, I think what you're trying to say is it just looks like, um, a mess. It looks like I'm jumping around everywhere. Uh, don't know what I'm doing. Um, that whole thing. Um, I mean, if you have some ideas, I'm not a big gooey person, but I am a big person, a big um, efficiency person. So if you could show me or you could suggest a way to do this that's more efficient, um, I, would, I would totally be into that. I mean, I, I do want efficiency. Uh, if GUI for, it, for its own purpose, no. But GUI, if it helps make me more efficient, I would love that. Um, and I don't, I'm not seeing quite how to do that is the problem. Um, Okay, but I do appreciate the thought. Um, 
So the what I'm trying to what I was trying to show here is this is this data is bad. God damn it, because we did have deaths before uh, last year. We did have deaths last year, I think. Um, or did we actually? Hang on. Um, let's go back over here real quick. Uh, what's the earliest? Maybe we didn't have deaths back in 2019, but it is called COVID-19. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was discovered in the year 2019. Um, and the idea here is to show that it, depending on where you were to take your exponentiation, um, you can make different predictions of how what the increase per day is. You can make it look really bad, or you can make it look, you know, really good, depending on what numbers you chose. Um, so the idea here would be to take. Okay, hang on. I, I've got to see what China is doing now. How do they get the data for? Okay. Pretty sure this is not correct. I'm pretty sure that China saw, um, saw deaths before 2019. Um, well, yeah, I know some people say China's just making up their stats anyway. They're under-reporting, which they very well might be doing. Um, uh, I guess it's possible no one died until 2020, even though uh, people were getting sick from it before then. Um, uh, let's see. So, I've done a terrible job at this because there's actually a pretty easy way to do this. Um, oh, wow. Well, then I'm one step ahead. If anybody, I can't follow what I'm doing, so I'm glad you can. Um, but good deal. Good deal. Okay, so now you've reinvigorated me. And I shall give you some insight. Let's assume these world stats are correct. I mean, you know, they're pretty reasonable. The idea here is you could, you know, you could say that if you went from January 11th to January 15th, you could say, well, it's doubling every four days. Um, not true, obviously, because by the time you get to January 19th, it hasn't doubled in January 23rd. Wow, it has doubled. So that's kind of not good. Wow. So, so that's that's actually an interesting question. Um, but I don't think it'll keep doubling like quite quite as badly as that. So. Um, So let's see what I want to do here. What I'm trying to do is get this all into Wolfram Cloud and show some examples of stuff. Um, show that how if you were to plot like, obviously from here you could say, well, there's no change in the you know deaths are flattened out. Not true, but again, it depends on how many what what kind of range you're using. Um, so. Um, so the, that, that would be the idea. The idea would be to look at all these numbers and say, if you were to only plot a subset, and maybe more importantly, um, you know, let's say it was on March 22nd, you made that decision to plot, what would you have predicted for March 23rd, March 24th, and did that prediction come true? Um, so that's, that's kind of the goal of where I was going with this, just to show, depending on which numbers you choose, and that applies to a lot of things, a lot of time series data, uh, you can look at, you can choose your start and end dates uh, to get the data to look the way you want. You have at least a lot of choices in choosing the starts and end dates, and the way you do that does make a, um, uh, does make a difference into ha what you can make things look like. Okay. All right, let me ask you if there's anything you'd like me to cover in this stream. Um, I am sort of lost at the moment. Um, several ways I could go with this. I could try to do something with this data. I could try to fix the program that computes where the terminator, okay, uh, where the terminator lies on Mars. Uh, we could try to look at that function that uh, composed with itself gives us x squared plus one. Uh, I want you to do what you find. That is that is it's a wonderful thing to say, but also um, also kind of doesn't give me a uh, direction per se. Um, let's 
so so I'm not I'm not necessarily seeing a direction there. And I will just silently babble on incoherently until you say something or type something, as it were. If you started taking my advice, this stream would just be me talking about random stuff with you. That's actually good stuff. That's that's what I want. You're not the. There can be no worse person than me to take advice from. I am the king of bad advice for myself. I almost, I tried to build a throne for myself, but I took my own advice, and the throne fell down. It didn't actually, it, uh, it was a big, it was a big failure, because I am not an architect or an engineer, or indeed anything else. Okay. So to be honest with you, I think, again, spent a lot of time doing a lot of crap here, whining about data and stuff. I'm just not feeling it today, to be honest. I just don't, I just don't feel it. Um, and therefore, I think I'm going to end the stream, even though it's only been like an hour, and I've pretty much wasted the whole hour. So that was, that's kind of more so than normal. Um, so thank you for watching. I probably will put the stream up on YouTube, but it is a total waste of time. I may come back later today and do a stream that has non-zero value, but hey, don't count on it. Thank you for watching.